everyone and welcome back. The last time you saw us we were in Portsmouth, New Hampshire and today we are exploring the Essex Scenic Byway in Massachusetts. So we're gonna do a little road trip today just show you some of our favorite stops along the Scenic Byway so let's do this thing. The Essex Coastal Scenic Byway stretches 90 miles along the coast of Massachusetts from Lynn to Newburyport. The highway connects 14 different coastal communities with cute names like Manchester by the Sea, which is where we are right now. So Manchester is one of many charming towns just along this byway. It has cute little shops and breakfast stores and there's a lovely park that we stopped at. And really, no matter where you go, whether you're walking or driving, you can't go wrong. It's all gorgeous. But then I actually ended up taking a wrong turn and it was a very happy mistake because the entire back street was just lined with these beautiful massive mansions they are incredible. that are right along the ocean line. It was just so pretty and it was really fun to kind of just imagine like, oh, if we had that much money and could live this lovely lifestyle as well, so at least we could kind of live vicariously through them as we were driving through. It was we could really have our fun. own secret little ocean cove like they do. <laughs> so a must stop if you come on the scenic byway during the summer is the Hammond Castle Museum. So this was built by John Hammond in the 1920s. He was a famous inventor, um, wanted to bring a castle to the coast of Massachusetts, so he just built it right here. Um, it is supposed to be a really cool tour. Unfortunately, we came a little bit early because it doesn't open until May 1st, but uh, we will definitely be back to, to do our tour of this thing. But if you're here along the byway, definitely make a stop at the castle. It is, it's well worth it, it's really cool. And talk about a cool mansion. This house right behind us has its own tennis court, its own infinity pool, is right on the ocean, has an incredible view, and its next door neighbor is a castle. Like, what? Not a bad neighbor. Not a bad neighbor. When I feel like you gotta compete thought, a little bit. You know, your old, your old like neighborly competition, like you need a pool and a tennis court know, if you're gonna live next to a castle or else it's just embarrassing. <laughs> it's kind of true. So we are walking along the promenade right now in Gloucester and we absolutely love this walk and I have so actually pretty. done it before and it just never gets old. That stretches basically from town all the way to this beautiful park over to the point out there and there's beautiful just views of the ocean. You can see the fishing boats going out to the sea for the day and that's, that park over there is a really nice point with beautiful views of cliffside and, and the ocean. And we were getting a little chilly so we decided to get some hot drinks at Lone Golf Coffee House. This coffee house is so, so cute, and the two women that were helping us give us our coffees were so lovely. Actually, when Ben went to the restroom, I was talking to them, and the woman behind the counter was also responsible for painting all of the paintings that you see along the- Oh, the I didn't know that. Which is super, super lovely. This town is really charming and beautiful as well. This is just a nice little genuine town. You can see there's a lot of like cute little shops in here. We're just gonna hang out here a little bit longer than just keep driving. It's the same old sun. We found this incredible beach when we were just leaving Gloucester and not only is it just beautiful with all the houses and the water is like actually sparkling, but you can see downtown Boston right over there and it has to be at least about 30 plus miles I would say, but it is just so cool to have this nature environment along with the city skyline in the distance. like. I feel like I have just fallen in love with Massachusetts all over again. So lots of people here are also just viewing this incredible view from their cars. So we're just going to sit here a little bit and enjoy this. It's like because... pulling up to get a spot at a theater or something. It's just a beautiful view. This is like my favorite part of the scenic byway. I can't so get over cool. how gorgeous it is. The houses on the left are stunning and the views on the right are stunning. I will take literally any of these houses. Yep. <laughs> just name your price. Just the natural rocks over here with the ocean spraying up on the rocks. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous. So these beaches just keep getting better and better. I swear, as you keep going north, it is just so gorgeous. I can't get over it. So we are at Good Harbor Beach right now. It's a sandy beach and there's some dunes with it as well. And you can come swimming here, but it is just 
breathtaking. We've saw on some lists that this is definitely one of the top places to go when you're on the scenic byway, and I understand why. Woo, I am just blown away right now. Here to the little town of Rockport which is this cute little town right sort of on the tip of the byway um, full of little art shops little restaurants that unfortunately a lot of them are seasonal so a lot of them are closed right now but during the summer there's supposed to be a ton of good seafood here and it's just a really nice spot to walk around it's a very walkable city there's barely any cars in the main part um, so it's really really nice we've just been perusing through the shops a little bit one of my favorite things is that they have a lot of art stores around here yeah. so you can support a lot of local artists that are here so there's every other place is an art shop yeah there's beautiful like paintings in the windows and mm. little crafts and yeah. clothes that are made and it's just really lovely yeah everything here is local you don't see any chains or anything so it's oh, not at all. really really cool town to walk around it's, it's very busy though it's really colorful too I want to yes. say all the buildings are very bright and yeah. just it's a very happy positive place I can see why so many people love it. I think it's probably yeah. like our third time coming here yes. because we just This is one of our personal of favorites. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely supposed to get more busy during the summer, so definitely be aware of crowds and parking and all that sort of stuff. But if you have a chance to find a place to park, it's wonderful to walk around. So definitely must see. Wow, this is some seriously deep sand to be walking in right now. Good like calf workout. A real workout. Wow. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, anyways, we have just arrived at our last beach of the day and it is so different from the rest of the scenic byway that we've seen so far, but it's still very gorgeous. Yeah, so we're on Plum Island right now, right next to Newburyport, um, kind of towards the end of the scenic byway. And it's about 40 minutes away from our last stop in Rockport. And as Rachel said, super different from our last stop already. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just so crazy how different like the beaches are just 40 minutes away. Yeah, so the sand is much deeper. It's mm -hmm. much darker. Not as rocky I'm up here. I'm guessing there's more rip tides here because they were just saying it's a little bit more of a dangerous beach to, yeah. to walk on to just be aware of it. Yeah. Um, but And there's a lot more houses here are on stilts. We haven't noticed yes. that in any rest of the, rest of the um, little towns that are further south no. until we, we just arrived at this one. And there you go, as you can see, we've reached the end of the Massachusetts Scenic, or Essex Coastal Scenic Byway. And at the end, we're greeted with a beautiful lighthouse right there. Uh, right you can kind of see through the trees. <laughs> can't go on the Scenic Byway without seeing at least Yay. a couple lighthouses. I can't believe we made it. We made it. One thing that Ben and I were saying in the car is that, again, because it's 90 miles, yet you think you could do a lot in one day. But we would really recommend splitting this up into probably two days at yeah, least. For and sure. an overnight. I mean, there's just so many beautiful stops. You actually want to be able to like stop and enjoy them. Yeah. And 90 miles when you're only going 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour on the slow, it takes a long time. It so does. It yeah, just take your time. But spending a night in a, one of the many incredible bed and breakfasts around here yeah. or an Airbnb or something. There's definitely a lot of good accommodation options here. So. That would be one tip that we would recommend. Definitely. We, we tried to do the whole thing in one day and it was a challenge. It's been a long day. <laughs> it has, it has. Might not be a long video, but we made it but to the end. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we just wrapped up our road trip with a beer at Newburyport Brewing Company, which was a beautiful way to wrap up the day. That was my <laughs> first beer at a brewery this year, which... Uh, Probably drink... actually in a whole year. Yeah, seriously. Going to breweries is one of our favorite activities, so it's good to be back. But that's also going to wrap up our road trip as well, so we hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to hit that like button down below if you liked what you saw today. Um, comment down below if, if you have any questions on anywhere we went or if you have any other suggestions for people uh, to stop at while on their road trip. I know there was one place we missed, one very big location, like a castle-y type of place that we didn't go oh, to. Yeah, that's right. That will be in a future video. <laughs> so anyone who is commenting saying that we're gonna that we missed that one. That's we'll be getting soon. there, don't worry. We'll get there, so stay tuned. <laughs> so we have a lot more New England videos that are coming your way soon. So mm -hmm. if you like this video, keep your eye out for more content just like that. And we will see you next week. See okay. you then. Bye, guys.